and find the vanishing point first. And I'm in Photoshop. You can do this in Jamboard, or if you have a tool that allows you to free draw on a photo in your notes on your computer screen, um, whatever works for you is fine. I'm going to come over here to the line tool. Um, I think that should be thick enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of these, all of these different lines are going to the vanishing point, like up at this door here. I can draw a line, and as long as I get it really right along that angle and pull it out, and then if I do another one from another direction, like I'll do this carpet here, and I'll pull that out across there. Um, it looks like this first line I should have done longer. I'll do this line over here along the wall. And you, you, you can do this as much as you need to, but you should discover, I'll come back and do this one at the door again, that as long as you, uh, that they're all kind of going to the same place. And where all these different lines converge, where things come together means to converge, there's one up here. So you notice that every single major line in this picture for one point perspective is all coming to the same spot. And that spot is called the vanishing point. And I can just keep doing this all day long. If this was drawn correctly, every converging line is converging to that spot. And that is the vanishing point. So this spot here is the vanishing point. After you determine your vanishing point, and you don't have to do as many lines as I did, um, but you could, uh, you know, usually about three lines coming from different angles and directions is usually enough to pretty accurately determine your vanishing point. Um, but after you know your vanishing point, you just draw a horizontal line through that, and that's your eye level line. And notice that that eye level line just intersected where would this guy is standing. That's his eye level. So the eye level line corresponds with the natural point of view that you have as you're looking at the scene, um, and you're designing this as the artist. So that's all you've got to do to be able to figure out eye level in a picture with one point perspective. Use different lines that are already in the image and extrapolate them out and do, you know, at least about three of them coming from different angles and where they converge is your vanishing point. And then if you draw a horizontal line through your vanishing point, that determines your eye level slash horizon line.